let's take a look now at a manufacturing overhead budget. Now remember, typically a manufacturing overhead budget is going to be highly dependent on cost behavior. So we will have variable mixed and fixed costs applied. Now at Royal, the manufacturing overhead is applied to units of the product basis on direct labor hours. So they apply based on direct labor hours and the variable manufacturing overhead rate is $20 per direct labor hour. Their fixed manufacturing overhead is $50,000 per month, which includes $20,000 of non-cash expenses. So if we're talking about a budget, we will have to back out those non-cash expenses. So we start right here with the direct, our direct labor budget. So we have the budgeted direct labor hours for April, May, and June. And then we learned um, just a second ago that the variable manufacturing overhead rate was $20 per direct labor hour. So we'll take those hours, multiply it times the variable manufacturing overhead rate. And that gives us variable manufacturing overhead costs of $26,000 in April and $101,000 for the entire quarter. Next, we go ahead and add the fixed overhead to our calculation of the variable overhead rate. Remember that was $50,000. And then we estimate the total overhead for April then to be $76,000 in April and then $251,000 for the entire quarter. So if we take the $251,000 divided by the total required labor hours of 50-50, that gives us a predetermined overhead rate of $49.70. Remember when we're determining the overhead rate, we use the total hours required rather than the total hours paid. So I know in April we paid for 1,500 hours, but what we want to use here is the hours that were required, not paid. And then finally, we subtract the non-cash expenses for manufacturing overhead costs to get the actual cash paid for overhead, which comes down to 191000 we want to keep that depreciation in though when we're calculating our overhead rate because it is a cost. It's just a, not a cash cost. It's a non-cash expense.